<coughs> Today, Today, we are going to start a new work of art. We are going to be inspired by the artist, artist. Ken Dinsky. One more time. Kandinsky. Say one word. Kandinsky. Kandinsky. Now, Mr. Kandinsky really liked colors. He liked lines. He liked shapes. And he loved music. And he thought that when he painted an artwork, it was a lot like writing a song. So he would listen to a song. Sometimes he would write his own songs. And when the instruments played, he thought that some of the notes in the music were like certain colors. So every time he heard a certain note, he might paint red. Or every time he heard a certain instrument, he might paint dark blue. And every time he heard another sound, he might paint a squiggly line. Now, if we look at Mr. Kandinsky's artwork, we see that he liked a lot of lines. Look, we have three straight lines, a curved line. We have a zigzag line. We have a big squiggly line. We've got thick lines. We've got thin lines. We have crisscross and curved and straight lines. We have checkerboard lines. We have a lot of different kinds of lines. We also have a lot of different shapes. If you see a circle, point to it. Here's one, here's one. If you can find a square, point to it. Here's a bunch of squares. Here's some squares. If you can find a triangle, point to it. That one's a little bit tricky, but this looks like a triangle. And this looks like sort of a triangle. If you see you can see the shape of a man's face, point to it. Look like this would be the side of his face. This is his eye. This is his nose. Down here, this would be his mouth. If you see the color blue, point to it. If you see some red, point to it. Purple. Yellow. So we're going to watch a quick video about Mr. Kandinsky and we're going to bring some of his paintings to life. So I want you to watch for things that are moving in this painting. Capiche? Okay, so now it's just about time to start our creation. <clears throat> when I get back to my seat, I'm going to get one piece of paper. It's going to go horizontal or side to side. Good job. We're going to put our name. Once our name and our top secret class code are on there, we're going to flip it like a pancake. Before we can be create. We need a messy mat under our paper. We need our sleeves rolled up. Good job. Now, when you have your name, your class coder on the back, and you have a messy mat nice and big underneath your paper, then you're ready to create like Kandinsky. Now, Kandinsky, we're going to start with today the lines, the shapes, and the colors. And then next, or we're going to start with the lines, the shapes, and then next class we're going to add in the colors. But we're going to listen to music like Kandinsky, and we're going to spread out some lines, some different kinds of lines, different kinds of shapes, like Mr. Kandinsky did. Now we're going to be using some different things. We're going to be using the color of black paint for today. Next class we'll get to make this really, really colorful. We're going to use a paintbrush. We're going to use a wooden block, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And then we're going to use some things that are round. I'll tell you about those in a minute. But I'm going to start with some black paint and a paintbrush. And I'm going to paint some of the things that Mr. Kandinsky painted. 
So one of the things that I saw in his painting that I really liked was this really big curly line and it started big and it got smaller at the end. It reminded me of something you would see on a music staff or where you start to write down your music. And then I'm going to put a big circle down here in the bottom. I'm going to put some little curved lines down here. Now, am I just scribbling all over my paper? No, no I'm thinking about what shapes I want to put where. And if my brush starts to run out of paint, I just dip it again. Yeah. Maybe we're going to have a note in here. Maybe some over here. I'm done with my brush, so I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to try... And I'm going to try and add some other things. So we're also going to have a tray. on it. We can use some of our other things on the tray to make some prints on our paper. So I'm going to dip on my tray and I'm going to start with this block. You see this block? So I'm going to dip the side of it onto the paint on my tray. I'm going to press it down on my paper. And it's going to make some lines for me. I noticed that Kandinsky liked to use crisscross lines. So I'm going to make a crisscross line. Next, I think I'll try one of our circles. going to dip it in the paint, press down the circles. Okay, we'll do one more right there. Now this painting is looking pretty good. I think maybe I'm going to add a triangle somewhere. Maybe there. Do a triangle with a little design in it right here. That looks pretty good to me. I think Mr. Kandinsky would like it. What do you think? Yeah. Now next class we're going to be adding lots of color to it and we're going to paint to the rhythm of the music. When the music gets fast we're going to use some colors and when the music gets slower we're going to use other colors. Capiche? For today though when you're done with this painting you're going to carry it with two hands. <clears throat> when I'm done. My paper goes on the drying rack. I won't wash my hands if I was messy. I will kiss my brain if I was clean. If my area is all cleaned up, my brush is having a bubble bath, I can read a book on the art carpet. And remember, if my team is quiet, I may get a quiet critter to visit. <laughs>